Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna do a quick unboxing of the Google Pixel 7, Pixel 7 Pro, and the Pixel Watch. Now you can pick these up online, I'll throw the links up in the description. All right, so let's start off with the most expensive product, the Pixel 7 Pro. Now this one is gonna start at 900 bucks. Comes in three different colors. You got hazel, snow, and obsidian. All right, so let's go through the specs real quick for the display. You got a 6.7 inch Quad HD LTPO AMOLED display with a resolution of 1440 by 3120. That is 512 for the PPI Patrol. You got HDR 10 plus up to 1500 nits brightness and a 120 hertz refresh rate. Now the phone is IP68 dust and water resistant. You got Gorilla Glass Victus on the front and on the back with an aluminum frame. For the processor, you got the Google Tensor G2 with the Mali G710 GPU. Now, what does that mean in English? Flagship specs, bro, flagship specs. Now you got 12 gigs of RAM, 128, 256, or 512 gigs of storage, no micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now you got a 5,000 milliamp battery that features 30 watt fast charge. Now Google claims you can charge this phone from zero to 50% in 30 minutes. Now you also got 23 watt wireless charge and reverse wireless charge. For the cameras, on the rear you got a triple setup. So you got a 50 megapixel wide angle, 48 megapixel telephoto, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens. On the front, you got a 10.8 megapixel wide angle lens and you can shoot 4K video at 60 frames per second on the front and on the back. Now you got Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC, always on display, on-screen fingerprint sensor, and a face unlock. Finally, face unlock back on deck. All right, so all of that for 900 bucks, what's missing? No expandable memory and no headphone jack. That's just whack, hashtag bars. All right, so let's unbox it and see what it is. Now, shout out to White Shoes, she got the day off. Quick side note, now y'all know I just joined the knife community, so I gotta give a special shout out to my man Ken, who sent me a new unboxing knife. So we're gonna use that, let's christen it in this video. Okay. Angle level's increasing. Frustration built. Okay, hold up. <laughs> Come on, Cam, what are you doing? All right, here we go. Okay, check this out. Now, y'all know how I feel about carbon fiber. Look at this knife. Woo! All right, so shout out to Ken. I love the knife community. Everybody's so warm and friendly and welcoming. A very non-toxic community. Now, I didn't need this knife for this, but... Why not? One more. Here we go. Get it in there like a gentleman. Okay. Ken, this one is for you. All right. So Pixel 7 Pro. Now, you see by the box, there's already something that I don't like. No charger. Now, I'm going to save all of my gripes and all of my dislikes for the real review. Right now, this is just about love. Okay, this is a love fest. So let's go ahead and love this. Inside now, this is the hazel color. Woo, look at this. All right, let me do a smell test on this one real quick. Mm. This one smells like work, okay? Everybody knows. Now, if you're new to my channel, maybe you don't know this, but ever since the birth of the Pixel phones, these have been my work phones. Now, I'm gonna talk more about that in a minute. This is my new work phone right here. Now, the hazel with the gold trim. Oh, this is fire. This is fire. Okay, now inside, you got OTG, uh, USB-A to USB Type-C, and of course, USB Type-C to USB Type-C charging. Let's see, and <laughs> usual books and shit, no troll stickers at all. All right, so this is the Pixel 7 Pro. Now, one more side note, Google did send me a review unit, okay, but, um, oh, that's not even it. <laughs> Let's try that again. Google did send me a review unit, but y'all know I'm a man of the people, so I can't completely shit on a product that I don't own and I didn't pay for. So I had to buy one myself because y'all know I'm gonna have some things to say. But just let's take a quick look. Here's the black and here's the hazel. Now, if we wanna talk about build quality and all that, this is what I meant to do. Let's, let's do that again. Honestly, what do y'all think? I like the black bar over the camera lens as opposed to the piece of aluminum or as we say in New York, aluminum. I don't know, I like the Pixel 6 look a little bit better. The two-tone, 
as opposed to one tone. Now the one tone does look fire on this one, but look at my, this is my work phone right here. The two tone, I don't know. I like the two tone with the black bar. It just seems like it gives it some more character. This one looks a little bit plain. Hey, but it is what it is. All right, I digress. All right, so this is the Pixel 7 Pro. Now let's take a look at the Pixel 7. Now this is the one that a lot of people are gonna be interested in. This one starts at 600 bucks. So this is the official iPhone 14 killer when it comes to the prices, okay? 600 bucks. Now this one comes in lemongrass, obsidian, and snow. Basically green, black, and white. Okay, for the display, you got a 6.3 inch full HD AMOLED panel with the resolution of 1080 by 2400. Now that's 416 for the PPI Patrol. You got HDR 10+, 1400 nits brightness, and a 90 hertz refresh rate. Okay, 90 hertz refresh rate. Now the phone is IP68 dust and water resistant. You got Gorilla Glass Victus on the front and on the back with an aluminum frame. Okay, for the processor, you still got the G2 with the Mali G710 GPU. Okay, what does that mean in English? Flagship specs, bro, flagship specs. You got eight gigs of RAM, 128 or 256 gigs of storage, no micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now you got a 4,355 milliamp battery that also features 30 watt fast charge, zero to 50% in 30 minutes. Now you got 20 watt wireless charge and you got reverse wireless charge. For the cameras on the rear, you got a dual setup. So 50 megapixel wide, 12 megapixel ultra wide. On the front, you got a 10.8 megapixel wide angle lens. And again, you can shoot 4K video at 60 frames per second from the front and on the back. You got Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC, always on display, on-screen fingerprint sensor, and face unlock. I know I gotta sound mad dramatic when I say that, but if y'all watch my Pixel 6 review, there was three things that I really didn't like. And hats off to Google, they actually address two and a half out of those three things. Okay, so for 600 bucks, what's missing from my flagship checklist? No expandable memory, no headphone jack, that's just whack, hashtag bars, no quad HD display, and no 120 hertz display. Okay, but other than that, 600 bucks, this might be the deal of the day. All right, so Ken, here we go again. Carbon fiber alert, Pixel 7. Now this is actually, <laughs> this is actually not, not the peasant Pixel, okay? This is the peasant Pixel, the 6A. So if you get the Pixel 7, you, you know, you're not really, you're borderline peasant, but not full-size peasant. But all jokes aside, this might be one of the best deals of the year. At 600 bucks, this is a certified win right here. Now, I went with the snow color, okay? The snow, rah. Look at the snow. Oh, the snow is sick. All right, the white one is sick. I will say this. Okay, now I see the difference between the, the two tones and the one tone. The one tone does look nice on the white phone with the aluminum trim, real sexy. Okay, matte on the sides, beautiful. Let's see on the seven. Okay, so you got a little mix of glossy and matte on the side. Two dope phones right here. Okay, 600 bucks and 900 bucks. Google is doing it right with the pricing. Okay, inside the box, usual bullshit. Now, <laughs> this is the funny part of the video. Let's talk about the Pixel Watch. Now, I'm not gonna waste your time reading the specs on this one. This is just a basic Android watch. But I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I am a little bit disappointed with this watch and I'm a little bit disappointed with myself. Now, let me tell y'all the honest truth. If y'all if y'all follow me on Twitter, I don't know how many of y'all do, but I don't really use Twitter that much unless it's a live event and then I like to tweet during the live events. So during a live event, okay, I was tweeting a lot. I seen the watch. Okay, I seen the hazel color to match the hazel phone. I was like, I'm buying that immediately. I wasn't paying attention to the specs. Okay, I wasn't paying attention. So Google sent me there, reviewer's box. And when I opened it up, I seen the watch. And I was like, okay, this is my honest opinion now. Honest reaction. I seen the watch and I was like, oh, okay. They sent me the girl's version. I wasn't paying attention to the size. I was like, I hope I didn't order this one. Then I went and looked on the website and realized that it only comes in 41 millimeters. Okay, this one, I, look at this. I was like, oh man, I hope this ain't mine. Let's go ahead and unbox this. I think this is mine. <laughs> That's small, come on now, let's be honest. After using 
the Apple Watch Ultra, which on another side note, in the Watch Wars for 2022, I think the Apple Watch Ultra wins. Then I gotta go with the Galaxy. But look at the difference in size, bro. This one right here, if I, if I rock this watch, I am gonna be looking a little zesty. I don't know, this one looks a little, this looks a little girly to me. It looks a little girly to me. But hey, it depends. Maybe you got small wrists. I just happen to have these big gorilla arms, so that could just be me. Rah. But we'll see. This is the Google Pixel Watch. Okay, now let's take a quick look. <laughs> let's see, now this color does look fire. I gotta keep it real. Why do I keep saying fire? <laughs> Been talking about Maya for the last couple of days. Yeah, it's just a little bit too small for me. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's get and un unhook it. Okay, now the color definitely matches. Okay. It, it's a definite color match. But let's see. Let's throw this on the wrist just for fun. I'm already feeling zesty as I'm putting this on. Okay, well, mm. It looks a little bit smaller in the hand. I guess on wrist, it doesn't look as bad. But after you get used to looking at this monster right here, and even this, this is kind of big too, giggity. After looking at this monster though, I guess everything is gonna look small. Now, of course, I put it on extra tight to make it look even, even smaller, let's see. I mean, okay, I mean, it does have a beautiful, okay, maybe I will review it. It does look beautiful. Look at the difference. It, it's, it, it doesn't look too crazy, per se, as crazy goes. Okay, shout out to my man, Who But D. We was talking this morning in a group chat. It doesn't look as zesty as I would have thought. Okay, I thought I was gonna be looking mad flamboyant wearing this, but um, no. And one more side note, because y'all know I gotta be the liaison to the black community. I right, so all of my white friends, my Asian friends, my Indian friends, my Latino friends. When you hear black people say zesty, we don't mean gay. All right, zesty does not mean gay. Zesty just means, you know, flamboyant. You know, you know, you ever, you ever, you ever watch, um, you ever watch a dude dancing, uh, especially a West Indian dude, and they whine and do some Jamaican music. We call that zesty. All right, that doesn't mean you gay. It just means you, you know, you're moving a little bit happy. Look at very happy. Look at Bobby Schmurder. Bobby Schmurder is the perfect example of zesty. All right. And look, sometimes I wake up feeling zesty and I throw on my little sparkly case on my iPhone. You know, it is what it is. But um, I like I prefer to look more rugged and hardcore. Like, look, look the green band on this. Uh, I, I, every time I look at this watch and the band when, I, when it's on my wrist, I just want to choke somebody out. I want to put somebody in the sleeper hold. This one right here, you know, I might want to sip tea and crumpets, have my little pinky up. You know, again, after looking at it in person, I retract my original statement. I will do a full review on it. I'm going to power it up and set it up, and we'll take a look at it on wrist. But nevertheless, I digress. Let me go ahead and delete my browsing history. We'll set everything up, and then we'll walk through the OS, and we'll check out the 7 and the 7 Pro. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, before I go too deep, let me answer a quick question. What's the difference between the 7 Pro and the 7? Well, there's a few differences. Number one, the price. The 7 Pro is $300 more. Next, with the 7 Pro, you got a bigger display. Next, you got a brighter display, more knitage. Okay, so the display is brighter. Next, you got a quad HD display as opposed to full HD. Next, your refresh rate is 120 versus 90. Next, you got more RAM, 12 as opposed to eight. Next, you got more storage. This one goes up to 512. This one maxes out at 256. Next, you got a bigger battery, okay? And of course, you got an extra camera. So you're gonna have a better camera. And one more subtle difference is, if you buy the seven, you got a completely flat display. With the seven pro, it's a little curved, but not too much curve to get on your nerves, but it's noticeable. Okay, so basically you're spending 300 bucks more to get a way better phone. Now with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, late but still great, White Shoes is back in the building. I love my white shoes. White shoes. shoes, calm down. All right, now I'm not gonna turn this into a full review. This is just an unboxing, so I'm not gonna talk about all of my things that I like and dislike. 
I'm just gonna keep it pretty simple and straightforward for this one. First, let's talk about the build quality. We'll start with the seven. This phone feels so good in the hands, ladies. You know the procedures. As far as the weight, I would say the seven and the seven pro almost feel the same weight. The seven is definitely a heavy duty phone, which I like. I'm not a big fan of the thinnest and lightest and the phones that feel like plastic. This one has the brushed aluminum on the sides. Okay, Gorilla Glass Victus on the back and on the front. It just feels premium. For a $600 phone, this is a great build quality. Now you're gonna have the glossy back. I'm not the biggest fan of the glossy backs, especially depending on what color you get. If you get the black, you're gonna see smudges and fingerprints. With this one right here, oh, this one looks sick though. You don't really see the smudges too much, but I would prefer if you're gonna do glossy, go with ceramic for the back. Again, no more two-tone, so now you got one color. Okay, this one has the whew, glossy trim around the aluminum. Okay, on the seven, you got your power button, volume up and down. Okay, mic on the top. This side, SIM tray, Apple. None of that stupid ass eSIM shit, SIM tray. Speaker grills, all the speakers in the front. Now, one thing I will say about the seven, you do have bigger bezels. I not, not gigantic bezels like some old school phone but the bezels are just noticeably bigger as opposed to, you see, almost bezel-less on the 7 Pro. Okay, now, let me talk about some things real quick. I do gotta mention this. If you watch my full review for the 6 Pro, you know how much I love this phone, but my first day experience with this phone was horrible. Okay, I thought I was gonna hate this phone. This phone wasn't even in my top five up until recently because of a few things. Now, I promised y'all I wasn't gonna turn this into a full review, but I, get, I can't help it, I can't help it. There was a couple of things about this phone that I hated, and hats off to Google, they kind of remedied it. Let me show you. First, one thing I hated was this high-ass power button. Look how high the power button is. Okay, now, it's actually a little bit lower now on the 7 Pro as opposed to the 6 Pro, but the power button is up too high. Now, having a high power button wouldn't be a big deal, but Google, this I, I, I can't help it, I gotta talk about this right now. Why do they keep putting the volume rocker on the same side as the power button? There's no reason to do that. Take it, all of your phones right now, take out your iPhone right now, take out your Galaxy phone. Most phones have the power button on one side, volume rock on the other side. And it makes sense like that if you think about it, in your personal life, okay, how often do you use your volume rocker? Now, I was thinking about this yesterday because I happened to use my volume rocker. I was in FedEx in a little waiting area and I was waiting for them to call my name so I didn't wanna have my headphones on, so I missed my name. So I'm watching some Instagram videos and I don't want everybody seeing me watching the booty shake videos. So I turned the volume down, All right, I turned the volume down. But I could go days on end without never touching the volume button on my phone, days on end. So the volume button should not be on the same side. All it does is make you accidentally press volume up instead of the power button. Now, kudos to Google for bringing the power button down a little bit. Now, now you can actually reach it a little bit better. But I've already pressed volume up instead of power about 35 times already. Okay, I don't like that. But again, I digress. My day one experience with the Pixel 6 Pro was so horrible because of the on-screen fingerprint sensor. It was 100% garbage, straight trash. Now, again, kudos to Google. Ever since this phone has been out, there's been about 75 updates. <laughs> okay, I'm not even joking. There's been about at least 42 updates for the fingerprint sensor, and now it actually works. Let's try the fingerprint sensor live, live on camera. The fingerprint sensor actually works. This is, look, it actually works. Now, y'all remember how I was struggling in that last video? <laughs> A little drop test. Now, Google has done it right. The fingerprint sensor actually works. It actually works. Now, it's not Xiaomi. Right, it's not Xiaomi and Vivo and OnePlus status, but it works. All right, it works. You don't understand how much that improved my experience, my day one experience. Now, every time I wanna use the phone, I can just pick it up and it opens, but wait, as Billy Mays would say, but wait, there's more. Look what else Google did. They bought you face unlock. 
Y'all didn't see me. I just sit back and lean back in the chair with a big smile. Face on luck. Now, y'all thought I was being a little bit too savage when I was calling the Pixel. I was like, oh, this is trash. Oh, I can't really rock with it like that. Even though I love the software and all that, I could not rock with this phone. And if you've been watching my videos, you know it just came back to the top five since the last fingerprint sensor update. Now that it's actually usable. But with this phone right here, this is guaranteed, guaranteed to be in my top five phones. Top five. And I will say this. If you know anybody who's been using iPhones for the last couple of years, maybe the last three or four years, and they always say, oh, I would like to try Android phones, but, you know, Samsung phones be lagging all the time. Android phones are too buggy, too glitchy. Tell them to use a Pixel. Okay, now even the 6 Pro, if they could get around the fingerprint sensor and get around the no face unlock, which they probably not going to like because they used to having an iPhone with face unlock, they're not going to like that. Tell them to try a Pixel 7 or a 7 Pro. This is how Android is supposed to run. It is buttery smooth, lag free, and I mean zero lag. Not this uh, Google homepage feed. That the homepage feed is always going to lag when it refreshes. I, and I don't, I don't any phone that I use. This is not the best example of testing the uh, non-lag display. But look at this. This phone is silky, buttery smooth, and we know because of the Google Tensor chipset, this has the best voice to text translation on the market and when i do my full review i'm tempted to start testing it right now but when i do my matter of fact i, I got to i got to watch this watch this let me just pull up let, let, look at this watch this watch this now watch this y'all need to keep it moving with that bullshit i ain't with that sad face emoji sin all right now this um oh i, oh, I forgot now i don't have my card in here so it's not gonna send but look how that came out the text to speech on the Pixel phones. Everybody asks me, why is the Pixel phone my work phone? That's why. I could send a full email, six paragraphs, with all the right punctuation, all of the right emojis, everything, hands-free. When you say send, it sends. Okay, that's why I'm able to reply to so many YouTube comments. I, I kind of consider that work. I, when I'm replying to YouTube comments all day, that's kind of like work for me. So when I'm, if, if y'all wondering, oh, how, how am I able to reply to so many comments? This is why. I pull out my pixel. Okay, I go to the comments. And every time I reply to, I reply, I reply. Every time I reply to a comment, I'm just saying it. And I'm, I'm just saying that comment, speaking it out, and pressing send. No mistakes. Okay, so the Google Tensor chipset, it's, yo, this is um this is the same as the Apple A16 Bionic Supersonic Titanium Uranium chipset. I would say the Tensor 2 chipset is putting a lot of pressure right now in the Android game. All right, this is this is by far my favorite experience with Android, even though, but uh, you gotta throw the butt there. It's the it's not the most customizable, it doesn't have the most features. But couple, let me look, look, we just having a regular conversation right here. Let me just talk to you. Another reason why the Pixel is my work phone, because it just works. The same way a lot of people like using iPhones, because you know, you ask them, why do you like iPhones so much? They just work. Y'all heard me say this plenty of times. I call this phone Big Bertha. This is my wife. I right, the Pixel, ever since day one, the Pixel has been my wife. All of these other Xiaomi phones and Realme phones and Redmi phones, even the Samsung phones, those are my side pieces. Those are my phones that I like to have fun with. This is my work phone. This is Big Bertha. This is all reliable. It's never going to lag, never going to freeze, never going to have any issues. And the best thing about it is when I'm outside doing work and then I got to flip to use the camera, the Pixels have arguably, now I'm going to use the word arguably, Arguably the best Android phone cameras. Definitely the best for point and shoot. If you're a novice and you don't know how to use Pro Mode on Sony phones, you don't know how to go to Samsung and change all the Pro Mode features. If you notice, the Pixel doesn't have Pro Mode. If you notice, the iPhone doesn't have Pro Modes. When you got cameras like this, you don't need Pro Mode. Okay, all you're gonna do is go to Pro Mode and mess it up. The, the, the processing power of these phones, okay, the processing algorithms that they use when it comes to photography are out of this planet, okay? Your portrait mode shots are gonna look epic. Your video is gonna look epic. And this is, like I said, this is just 
point and shoot. Point and shoot. Now I'm talking a lot. Let me just go, let's just breeze through the OS. Now if you notice, I do have the beautiful live wallpaper. Okay, let's get and power this up. Okay, beautiful live is actually raining outside right now. So you see a few raindrops on the screen. Now here's your always on display. Let's get a little wipe down. This is one of the things that I don't like. So if you're keeping your don't like list at home in preparation, all right, so in preparation for my real review, if you wanna feel like you doing it with me and checking down the list, add this to the list, always on display, not the most customizable, not the most. Look, <laughs> when Apple, when Apple's always on display is more customizable than an Android always on display, then Houston, we have a problem. Okay, Google, it's time to, it's time to, look, look she was listening. All right, calm down, bro, I'm just talking. It's time to get rid of this one size fits all, always on display. We don't want this, okay? We wanna have always on displays with pictures of our pets, our kids, okay, ourselves, if we're so inclined, anything but just this. Nevertheless, always on display. Now you got a working fingerprint sensor. So you got a couple of different ways you can open up the device. You can swipe up, put in your pattern. Actually, when I say pattern, I mean pin, but you can have a, you can memorize the numbers into the shape of a pattern. You don't have the physical patterns like Samsung phones have. That's another thing that I don't like. I don't like just only having to swipe up and put in this. I like to do the zigzags. So if somebody's giving you the scumbag side eye peripheral vision, they're not gonna memorize that zigzag, but they will memorize this. When you press that, they're gonna memorize that. But anyway, a couple of different ways you can open up the device. You can swipe up, put in your pin. Next, you got face unlock. Now, this is one of the things that I do have to talk about right now. The face unlock, it's not the best. It's not the best now. It's working right now perfectly fine because I'm sitting here in this bright light and I'm looking directly at it. I got eyes turned off. Now you can have it where it has to look at your eyes. I got eyes turned off because I'm in my house. I want face unlock for convenience. I will say this. The face unlock is not the best, especially when you get into low light situations. It's just it's just not as fast, especially when you're used to using Xiaomi phones. You used to just go on like this. You just wanna pick up your phone and look at it. Bang, it's supposed to open like that. Now it's gonna work right now, <laughs> like I said, because I'm under the lights. But I've been noticing, I right, look, shoes, shoes left one of her little fleas right here. I'm having a little flea infest infestation right here too. And um, hold on a second, see? <laughs> this is where the portable vacuum comes into play. All right, if I see any fleas, shout out to White Shoes, she got fleas. <laughs> now, nah, but we we taking care of that on Saturday, all right? Shoes, shoes wherever you at, you're gonna be flea-free on Saturday. Anyway, yeah, she just, she, she ain't like that. Anyway, face unlock, not the best in the world, but it works. It works and it's a welcome addition. And I like that, it, get, it gives you that little vibration. You feel a little vibration and y'all see the animation? It works, but most importantly, fingerprint sensor. iPhone users, eat your heart out. You wanna open your phone on the table. All right, everybody don't wanna pick up their phone, you eating and all that, you know, or, or some, you, you having a meeting with somebody. You don't wanna keep picking up your phone. Sometimes you don't, you wanna just quickly open your phone, check your messages, oh, okay, and keep, and keep it moving without picking the phone up off the table. Especially kids that's in school and all that. You wanna keep picking up your phone left and right, left and right, putting your code in every now and then, nah. Bang, fingerprint sensor, that actually works. Look at that, let me, let me check. I noticed my nipples are a little bit hard right now because now I got a pixel that I can actually use in my rotation from day one. This one, I couldn't do it. As much as I wanted to, I couldn't do it. So that's a couple of different ways of opening up the device. Next, you swipe over, you got your Google Home feed. We already seen that. Now this is running Android 13. So you got all your Google Android 13 widgets. One of my favorite ones, the clock. Okay, just, you know, sit back, watch, watch the skies move. Okay, Netflix running on deck. The beautiful weather, if you notice, you see how I pop the clouds? You see how water's coming on the screen? You know, a little, little fun stuff right here. Again, now since we're here talking as friends, a couple of other things that I don't like, the Google Home bar on the bottom, I don't like that. Okay, now if y'all seen any of my Android phones, it's always Google, beautiful weather, and then everything else. I'm not a big fan of this, okay? I don't, like, I don't like having it on the bottom. But hey, it is what it is. Let's check some of the, um, <laughs> let's check some of the, I got a bunch of notifications. Let's see, anything we really need to see with the settings? Let's see. Now you do have, like I said, 
uh, let's see, uh, call Sim. I, I took my Sim out of this. But you can drop two Sims in here, I believe. I, I got to double check that. It might be just one. Matter of fact, I think it's uh, I think it's two. Let me see something. Let me, matter of fact, let me, let me, let's, let's, let's double check right now. All right, so I just wanted to double check to make sure I don't give you all the wrong information. But you can have two different Sims. Okay, so let's exit out of that. Okay, so here we go. Private DNS, okay, for all your scumbag activities. You do have... NFC, screencast, Chromebook, nearby share, which on another side note, I was just having an argument with somebody in the comment section, not really an argument, but somebody was saying, oh, you know, the only reason I'm with iPhones is because of AirDrop. I need AirDrop. On Android phones, we have nearby share, okay? That's the same as AirDrop. A lot of the features that you find on, on our iPhones, you're gonna find on Android phones under different names, okay? So nearby share, that's AirDrop. <laughs> Let me just clear that up. Okay, apps, nothing to really see there with the apps. Notifications, nothing to see. Battery. Now, here's another thing. When you get your new Pixel, make sure you go to battery. Okay, now you do have battery share. That's power share. Go to battery usage. Check your battery usage. Go to adaptive preferences. Now, you got adaptive charging. Okay, that's going to extend your battery life. But make sure you turn on adaptive battery. The first couple of days of using your Pixel, it's gonna seem like the battery is garbage. It's gonna happen like that. Don't worry about it. Just keep using your phone heavy. Use it heavy. Don't charge it up when it's on 60%. Use it from 100% till, it's about, till you get the low battery warning, plug it in. Do the same thing, do your normal routine, but it's gonna take a while for the Pixel phone to learn your battery usage, and then your battery's gonna change. Remember when I first got this? My day one, day two experience was like, oh, hold up. You mean to tell me no face unlock and a trash battery? Oh, I'm roasting, I'm roasting. But after a couple of days, the battery became great and it's gonna happen with this one. Just make sure you have on adaptive battery. Okay, now you can show your battery percentage. Nothing to really see there with that. Let's go to display. Oh, matter of fact, sound and vibrations. Okay, let's, hold up, let me wipe that. <laughs> sound and vibrations. Dual stereo speakers. No issues with them, pretty loud. But if you notice, the bottom speaker is a little bit louder than the top speaker, so it's gonna take a couple of seconds to get used to that. You got your live caption, adaptive sound, all your features on deck. Let's go to display. Anything to really see here? Okay, I'm gonna leave it on adaptive. Screen rotation. Now, out of the box, it's gonna be on full HD. Make sure you change it to quad HD, okay? You spending quad HD money, you need to be enjoying quad HD product. Screen rotation, Apple. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. Screen rotation, you need that. Okay, again, make sure you put it on Quad HD. Now you got smooth display. That's gonna give you that variable refresh rate. All right, from 60 to 120. All right, it's a lot of herdage. <laughs> maximum herdage, 120 maximum herdage on Google phones. Okay, now here's something I wanted to show you. Accessibility. Okay, so if you're hearing or visually impaired, you got all of the features. But Google takes it a step further, and here's one of the features I've been using. If you notice, I opened it up as a little bubble. My live trans, uh, my live um, transcript. So now, say I'm watching House of Dragon, and they talking all that, uh, you know, that stuff that you can't really understand. All you got to do is put your phone on like this, or somebody's talking, and you want to transcribe everything they're saying. It's gonna come up just like this. Sick. This is good. This is so sick. This is so sick. All right, let me exit out of that. Okay, so I left mine right there because I actually use that feature a lot. Anyway, that also works too. If you got somebody on speakerphone, you can just have the transcript, right? record the whole transcript while you're not paying attention, and go back and listen to it later. So you got your real, uh, your live caption. A lot of features that I'm going to talk about in my full review have to deal with transferring words into text. Okay, you got a sound amplifier, you got sound notifications, yada, yada, yada. Now, you do have, check this out, car crash detection, Apple. I had a lot of people like, oh, I'm only getting an iPhone because, you know, I want crash detection. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. We got car crash detection over here in the Android Wars fan, in the Android War Room too. all right? It's not only the Apple Mafia, all right? The, the Apple Mafia think that they got everything first. No, we already had crash detection. We got emergency SOS. We got all that stuff too. We even got crisis alerts, all right? Just in case you're in a crisis. <laughs> you say crisis or crises? <laughs> no, I, I think it's crises, crises, crisis. Crisis management, crises. <laughs> That's a funny word. All right, anyway, let's see anything else. 
Let's see, you got your, now this has a great digital well-being and parental control suite. Okay, monitor your scumbag activities. Uh, about phone, okay, nothing to really see here. Uh, tips and tricks. Again, like if you go to the tips and tricks segment, it's gonna show you a lot of stuff that you could do that has to do with transcribing words and uh, Google Translate. Plenty of stuff that I'm gonna talk about when I do the full review. Next, let's take a look at the camera real quick. Now here's some differences. Let's pull up the 6 Pro. The 6 Pro with the working fingerprint sensor. Every time I touch this fingerprint sensor, I get hyped, I don't know why. All right, look. Look at the difference, here's the 7 Pro and the 6 Pro. Let's go to zoom on your 6 Pro. You got 20 times zoom. Now, you got 30 times zoom. So you got more zoom and you got cinematic mode. Apple, I, Apple, they thought they had, they thought they had a stronghold on cinematic mode. No, Android's got it too. All right, Galaxies, you got portrait video. Shout out to Google for kind of uh, taking the same name. I uh, you know they could have called it something different, but it is what it is. Let's go to the different shooting modes. You got night sight. You got motion videos, uh, motion pictures. You got portrait mode, which again, point and shoot. Psst. Psst. Look at this. This is what I'm talking about. Look at this. Uh, now, nah, I, I just, psst. look, that's just processing. Boom. Look at that photo, bro. Look at that photo. No hesitation. Just took a quick photo just like that. This is what I love about pixels. I, when you hear me take it to the low voice, that means I'm serious. This is what I love about pixels. All right, shoes, I need you to, this ain't a photo shoot now. Okay, so you got regular camera. So you got wide angle all the way up to 30 times zoom. It's kind of scummy. You got video. Now, here's another dope feature about Pixel phones. You got 4K video on the front and on the back. A lot of Android phones don't have 4K front-facing camera video. They just don't, including the Galaxy. This one does. Okay, so you got cinematic. Okay, we're going to play with that. Ooh, we're going to get some dope cinematic videos. And you got panorama, photosphere, and lens. All right, so that's it. Pretty, that's pretty much it for the camera. Let's take a look at the... The uh, hold on, I almost blew myself up up that late. But I'm a little upset. All right, let's let's take a look at the camera on the seven. Okay, so you got night mode, motion, portrait, camera. Let's see, you got wide angle, all the way up to okay, eight times zoom. So this is part of the reason why, if you want to get the pro as opposed to the regular seven, more zoomage. You got video, same 4K, no cinematic mode. Okay, no cinematic mode. Let's take a quick portrait shot. Okay. Okay, let's let it process. Now, this is the thing. That, this is the fun part about the Pixel phones, too. You ever took a photo, and when you first look at it, you're going to be like, oh, photo look kind of trash. It's saying processing. When it, finish processes, when it finishes the processing process, it's going to look dope. It's going to look dope. Look at this. Why I got so excited is that? Look at this! Nah, but uh, I'm not even I'm not even overhyping this. I'm not even overhyping this. These photos are excellent, excellent. Okay, you got video and the same uh, panorama photosphere and lens. Now let me give you a pro tip. When you're setting up your fingerprint sensor, okay. Now I only set up one on this one. I only set up one, and it's actually working. It's actually working. Now to be safe, what I did with this one is I set the same fingerprint multiple times. So I set one like this, one like this, one like this, one like this. Okay, so I got four fingers of the same fingerprint because this way I wanted to guaranteed work. This is the best uh, Google fingerprint sensor yet. It actually works. Y'all watching this? Y'all seeing this shit? It actually works. It actually works. Anyway, anything else to really see here? We'll go through multitasking and all that other stuff when I do the full review. Now, let's see. Now, I haven't been playing with this watch. Let me just uh, wipe it down. I'm not going to make this video take two hours. I'll do a separate full review on the watch. After wearing it for a few minutes, it does feel a little bit small to me. I just, you know, just the, aesthetically, it just, it just, it's just not aesthetically pleasing to me as much as big watches are on my wrist. Look at the difference. As much as big watches are. Okay, I, I like having more of a big watch. I, I, look, y'all see me. Let me let me take a pause. I'm poor. I, I'm part of the four-eyed fuck community. I right, shout out to all y'all four-eyed bastards out there. I'm one of y'all now. 
why would I want a smaller watch? After using this, you're not gonna want a smaller watch, okay? So if you got an Apple Watch Ultra, you're not even gonna be thinking about this one. So I'm not gonna waste too much time talking about that right now. I'll do a separate video. So this way, if you got the Ultra or you got the Big Boy Galaxy, you could just uh, watch that video and throw me a like. <laughs> throw, 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 me a, throw me a like and a view and keep it pushing. Uh, you're not really, you don't have to watch the whole video. So let's uh, let's sum this up. Let's sum this up, okay? Hold on a second. Let's um, look. I'm, they, 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 they got me on pest control. I'm, on, I'm trying to shoot a video and be on pest control at the same time. Side note: I bought this shit earlier. I'm about to give white shoes a um a bath in this shit. Hit me up in the comments. Anybody who, cause I just never, I never had this issue before with, with um any of my pets. But if you ever had a pet with fleas, what do y'all do? Cause this shit right, I, I can't live like this. I can't live like this shoe. One of us gonna have to go, all right? And it ain't gonna be me. So I'm gonna try to give shoes a bath in this shit right here. And I'll probably let one of those bug bombs loose. But if y'all ever had fleas or, or any kind of ticks or some shit like that, give me a pro tip on how to get rid of these bastards because this shit is driving me crazy. Let me go ahead and wrap this up. I would say this. Now, this is just my initial impressions. This is not a full review. Fresh out of the box. For 600 bucks, okay, for 600 bucks, this or this, <laughs> this or this, I'm going with this. All right, this is the iPhone 14, okay? I, I, I think this one starts at, what, 800 or 700? 600 bucks. This is going to have a better camera, okay? This is just going to have way more features. This or this, give me this. All right, <laughs> Pixel 7 or iPhone 14, give me the Pixel 7. Take that extra 100 bucks, go to Applebee's and splurge off. Okay, this is gonna be a dope phone. I'll do a separate review on this one. Now, for the start of the show, we got the Hazel. This is gonna be my new work phone, guaranteed. And this is gonna be my phone that I'll sell to one of y'all. <laughs> but anybody wanna buy some Pixels? I got two Pixel 6As. I got two Pixel 6 Pros. Okay, so two, two 6As and two 6 Pros for sale. And a 7 Pro. All right, and a 7 Pro. Anyway, I, I know, I'm just, I'm just kidding. Fresh out of the box, this phone is a major, major, major go. Now, look, I, I, I can't stress this enough. This is just my I'm in love stages. I, 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 I use the same analogy all of the time. When you buy a new car, the first day you buy a new car, you drive it home. Your husband or your wife is gonna ask you, how do you like that car? You're gonna be like, I love it. It's brand new, I love it, I love it. Give it about a week or two weeks. Then when they ask you, oh, how you liking your car? You're gonna be like, well, you know, I just noticed that when I went grocery shopping, the trunk ain't really as big as I thought it was. I just noticed that when I lean the front seat back, it doesn't really go back as far as my old car used to go back. I just noticed that when I hit high speeds, the, the, the handling ain't as great as my last car. You fall out of love after you start using something for over a week. So that's why I like to take my time with these reviews because if I made this full review right now, I will be saying I love everything about it. Give me about a full week. This so way I can learn the full ins and out, see if it has any, any little, um, you know, little hiccups, any bugs, any glitches. And this way, when I do my full review, I have my full list. But some things I already know that I like, some things that I already know that I love, and some things that I'm guaranteed to hate, such as this power button and finger and uh, foul power button and volume rocker on the same side, I hate it. But I welcome, I welcome this fingerprint sensor and I welcome this face unlock. I welcome this. Now I can just pick up my phone and just look at it. That's how you want to use your phone. Anyway, Pixel 7, 7 Pro, Pixel Watch. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know if y'all got any questions or if there's anything specific y'all want me to cover when I do the full review. All right, so real quick, I didn't want to be a complete scumbag and not show none of the Pixel Watch. So let's look at it real quick. You do have a digital crown. Okay, now let's see. You swipe down. These are going to be all your quick toggles. Swipe up. There's all my messages. Okay, let's... um. Click on this one. That's a new YouTube video. Okay, we'll go back. You swipe over. These are gonna be different apps. So there's the weather. Okay, that's my agenda. You got Fitbit, exercise, heart rate, steps. Okay, 
and back to your home screen, swipe to the right. Okay, same thing. Swipe up, notifications, swipe down. Okay, there it is. So basically toggles, notifications, and apps. Okay, now it looks simple and straightforward enough. Let me throw it back on the wrist again. <laughs> it just looks a little bit, <laughs> it's just a little too small for me, but I guess I can see it. I mean, the words do look big. I thought the words gonna be a little bit smaller to read, but um, it's actually not bad. Let's see, let's try to read some notifications. Let's see, um, let's see, let's see if we got anything. Okay, let's see. But think about it, an Android phone like Asus that has 512 and 16 isn't gonna be a phone people go out to get. Okay, I'm sure the video camera isn't great as the 14 Pro Max. You see, we got another Apple, an Apple Mafia be coming at my neck, yo. You know what I'm saying? Why the Apple Mafia always coming at me with some bullshit? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, okay, let's see. Google, okay, let's see. Now, there's no, there's no rotating bezel, okay, but you can just, you can use the crown to go up and down. It's just a little bit small. Let's try the heart rate. Let's see if um if it's some bullshit or not. Okay. Let's tap. Shoes and shoes. Okay, maybe um. All right, I gotta I, actually one hundred and five. That's a little bit cap. I think I gotta figure it out. But anyway, like I said, it's just a little too small for my preference as opposed to look at the big, the big face galaxy. But it does match the Hazel so perfectly, I think I might have to just keep it, just so I can rock the Hazel on Hazel. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, Stream Gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No bleep boys or laugh. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter. That's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I'll see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing, I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock won the beam up. I want everybody to subscribe to Flossie Carter for the real tech reviews. Now, Flossie Carter, we know you Flossie. Now, guess what? I'm flashy. Money may all day, the one and only. Flossie Carter, you part of the money team.